All right. This is the last lesson in this level that has to do with sprites. We want to show you one last sprite drawing command for now, which lets you draw the sprites to the screen, but gives you a couple more options like rotation, alpha, and scaling in the coded draw sprite command. You can see here my sample file. I hit the left and right arrows to turn. And when I hit the space bar, I'm firing some lasers out that fire out. Now, how is this all working right now? Right now, my boss, the thing firing, basically when I hit left, I'm taking the image angle variable that is built into every single object that you plug in your uh, game, and I just increase it. And same things when I turn the other way, I'm minusing three. Now, normally that decides what angle you draw your image, and that's why you see the image turning. Spacebar is obviously doing the firing. Now, here's the thing. This boss was given an ammo variable. Now, we didn't see it. So I'm actually going to draw this underneath the boss. I want it to follow the boss. So I say to myself, well, I'm going to let the boss start to draw stuff out. And the thing I'm going to draw is I'll change the color to white so I'll be able to see it. And then I'll draw a little text. I'll draw it at X. I'll draw it down a bit so it's not covering my boss. And I'll draw out the ammo variable. Remember, this time I'm actually doing the draw event of the boss, right? So that's the ammo of the boss. Now, if I just do this, you probably remember from the last lesson, this is what happens. So obviously the boss is still there, but you don't see it. You have to remember, as soon as you put any code inside of the draw event, that is now the draw event for the boss, and that's all that's going to be drawn. So last lesson, you probably learned that we do this, draw sprite. We name our sprite, sprite boss, sub image negative 1, and draw them at xy. Now you probably think this is going to fix it, right? That's what you did before. So let's check what this does. Now you got the boss. It is being drawn. It's not very big. And it's not turning. Okay, so this is doing exactly what this command says. It's just drawing this sprite at that position. What we need here is we need a draw command that will draw the boss out rotating. And that's where the new method for this lesson comes in. The method is draw sprite extended. Okay, but you don't write the whole word extended out, just E-X-T. You'll see here what you have to give it for information, the parameters, so a couple more. So let's just follow along the parameter list at the bottom here and just plug them in. It wants a sprite. So sprite boss, sub image, negative one. I want to draw it at X and Y position. Now I get to the scale. Now I could put two there because I wanted it twice as big in the X, twice as big in the Y. That's one option and that would work. Or I could also say this, image X scale. If you actually check in the create method of the boss, I actually made the X scale equal to two. So that is two. And this is a better way to do it. That way, if you end up changing the image X scale, the draw sprite command, you don't have to go back and change it. And then for Y, the Y scale was also equal to 2. So that's just like saying 2, comma 2. Now it wants the rotation. Now this is the good one here for this one. The rotation was just the image angle. That's what I was changing with the left and right arrow keys. It was changing between 0 and 360. And so you can just put image angle there. If it happens to be 30, then it's going to draw the sprite at an angle of 30. Okay, you can put anything in there. That's a number. Now it wants the color. Uh, this is a tricky one, but you can put little color filters when you draw out your sprites with this command. If you want your sprite just to look normal, put color white. C underscore white. 
and then it wants the alpha and I want this to be fully drawn so I'll put in 1 or 1.0 doesn't really matter now that's really it that becomes a bit longer of a line can't even fit it on there but that's okay everything plugs in okay we give it a test and we should see our boss man bigger oh, yeah good he's bigger and he's turning and he's matching the angle of the lasers so it's all good and he's also able to draw anything else that you want to draw out down here okay now you may say to yourself you know why do that why not just let some other object draw itself you're right sometimes you might let another object draw the ammo out but you might come up with some reasons in your game where you want no I want the player to draw their own ammo out a health bar out draw the sprite out etc etc so we thought we'd show you the draw sprite extended method also keep in mind that any of these values you put in here for X Y etc these can be variables numbers equations you know as long as it's a value it's going to work in this thing okay hope that wasn't too bad there's going to be a little challenge for you which involves getting the laser uh, to have a strength and fade out and of course you'll be using the draw event but this time use the draw event of the laser so good luck with that one thanks for watching